Well, last time we talked to you, you were eager, you were excited, you were just absorbing the emotions, the moments. We've had a month now to roll up to this team. What have you learned so far? I've learned a lot. You know, there's a lot of vets out here, and uh, just learning from them, it's it's a great experience, you know, because most players don't get to get get that opportunity. So I'm just excited I'm here that we got started. Everything's going pretty well right now. How was the post-game balancing out so far? Because you mentioned you weren't sure where you were going to play. You've got runs and you've got ties. You've got a lot of players who can play the four and the five. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, I really, uh, we're still trying to, you know, figure things out with that. Um, I really feel comfortable playing at the four, so we'll see how it goes. But, you know, I'm the, like one of the tallest on the team, so I guess, I mean, I'll have to play some five, which is, you know, trying to get that in my comfort zone, but it's really not there yet, so I'm just adjusting. Then you finished up your studies at Xavier, so what did that mean for you to get the college degree and get that education out of the way? Um, actually, I graduated last year, so I got a degree right. last year. Yeah, so, but I'm... I still have a couple credits left that I can get probably later on for my, my criminal justice major. So um, it's kind of exciting to be out there and don't have to do anything but play basketball. So it's exciting. It has to be great as a rookie coming in and have players like Rebecca and Taj mm -hmm. to learn from. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's fun. Uh, learning from Taj is it's, it's amazing what kind of basketball mind she has. And like her being here for like 14 seasons, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm excited. Biggest adjustment from Xavier to Target Center? As in on the floor? On the floor, anything, life, cultural? Um, it, it is different because all I'm doing is playing basketball, and when I go home and I don't I'm teaching myself how to cook or <laughs> learning new things in, in, in the real world, so. I think that's that's just the biggest thing from going from college to reality. That's what I call it. How many trips to the Mall of America? Four. I'm going tonight too, actually, to go see Pirates of the Caribbean. So, yeah. Favorite experience from that so far? Mall of America. So big. <laughs> it's this so big. Like I've never been in a mall where they have same stores twice. One small, one big. I'm like, wow. It's amazing. It had different things in it, too. So you have number six in on of LeBron James. He's yep. still in the playoffs. Yes, they the are. Goals. Is there anything you want to say about the Heat or maybe about the team and how has that inspired you? Because we know LeBron James was kind of a villain at the start of the season. And the Heat are still alive. He's still a villain. I love LeBron. I'm just so excited for them, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad they did not lose that second game in, in Chicago. So them going back to Miami is going to be great. I'm so excited. And what do you think Miami has to do to beat Chicago and they, they, their ticket into another NBA Finals? They have to match. They have to match their energy. Noah's bringing a lot of energy to for the Bulls, but I think I think I think uh, they have to contain contain Derrick Rose. So I think that's just what they have to do to win.